Welcome to Golden Software's video training for MapViewer 8. MapViewer is an affordable, thematic, mapping, and spatial analysis software package that allows you to produce professional looking graphics. In this video, I will cover how to create and edit contour maps. MapViewer has three overarching map types, base maps, pin maps, and thematic maps. A thematic map is a combination of a base map and linked data. It shows different types of information, like social and political information corresponding to a specific geographic area, like a county or state. MapViewer has 14 different thematic map types, a few of which have subtypes associated with them. Each map type will be discussed in its own training video. This video will discuss contour maps. Contour maps, also called isopleth maps, are thematic maps which interpolate between provided data values to form an evenly spaced grid, and then plot lines through grid nodes of the same value. The example shown here displays the predicted high temperatures for the continental United States for the day of June 27th. Contour maps in MapViewer can be plotted in two ways, from a PID and variable, or using an existing pin map, so using X, Y variable data. We'll take a quick look at the latter case before we create a contour map from scratch using the former. Click on the pin map layer in the object manager. Click Map, Create Map, Contour. The contour map is created. Let's not bother changing any of the properties yet. We'll cover that after we see how to create this map from PID variable data. Let's open a data file to view the formatting of one of these files firsthand. Click File, Open. Use the drop down list in the bottom right corner of the Open dialog to select DAT data as the file type. This will limit the file list to only show DAT files. Select the world.dat file from the MapViewer 8 samples directory and click Open. The primary ID, or PID, is what MapViewer uses to link the data to the associated boundary object. This must be unique for each boundary object and must exactly match the PID of the objects in the boundary file. So for this file, column A is the only appropriate column to use for the PID. The data variable for the contour map can be any numeric data. As such, any numeric column from column B through the end of the file would work just fine. Now that we've seen how the data is formatted, we can create the map. Click File, New, Plot to open a new plot window. Click Map, Create Map, Contour. If we already had a base map created on this map layer, only one dialog would pop up, asking for the data file. Since this is not the case here, we will first be prompted to import the boundary file and specify the import options for the boundary file. In the import dialog, select the sAmerica.gsb file from the MapViewer 8 samples directory. Verify that the Show Options if they are available box is checked and click Open. In the Import Options dialog, there can be up to two tabs. If the coordinate system of the file cannot be determined, the first tab, or only tab if your file does not support attributes, will be an Assign Coordinate System tab, where you can specify the coordinate system if you know it. Since our GSB file has the coordinate system saved internally, we do not see this tab. The second tab, or only tab if your coordinate system is known, is the IDs and Attributes tab. This is where you set the column for the PID, SID, and or hyperlink IDs, and determine which boundary attributes to import. By default, all attributes except the ones chosen for the PID and SID are selected for import, but you can click on these in the attributes list to select or deselect them. And you can click the Select All Attributes or Clear All Attributes buttons to select or deselect all of the attributes. We will leave the defaults and click OK. In the Open Data File dialog, you can choose the data file from the file list, or, if you have the data file open in a worksheet, you can use the drop-down list under Use Loaded Worksheet to select the appropriate data file. Click Open, and the contour map is created. Now that the contour map is created, it's quite easy to edit the map properties. The first step for editing the map properties of any map type is to select the map layer, so click on the contour map layer in the Object Manager if it's not already selected. The map properties are displayed in the Property Manager. Since our PID and Variable columns in the General tab are already set to the correct columns, we'll skip right to the Map tab, where most of the properties are located. In the Map tab, you can choose to fill the contours, 
You can limit the contours to the boundary file areas, and you can edit the contour levels. By clicking the Edit button in the Levels field, you open the Levels dialog, where many properties for this map type are contained. Here you can change the number of levels and the classification method. You can also choose to auto-determine levels. Additionally, you can change the color gradient for the entire map by clicking the Fill Column header and either clicking Custom at the bottom of the foreground's drop-down list to define your own custom gradient or selecting from the available gradients. In this same way, you can mass edit the label and hatch properties. You can edit the level, line, fill, label, and hatch for individual levels by double-clicking the relevant cell in the table and changing it. Click OK to apply the changes. This concludes the Creating a Contour Map tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.